Episode 333 on the 26th of August 2024. I'm Wem, and with me as always is Tempest. Hey, Temp. Hey, Wem. <laughs> uh, funny that you're saying the 26th of August. There'll be plenty of people who are like, but 26th of August, the game's already come out. In the States. <laughs> That's tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to hear how you're doing. 26th of August, next um, Australian time. So let's take it into. <laughs> Real life. Did you answer the question of life? What are we doing here? So for me? Ha ha, I didn't fall for it. I, I didn't, didn't try to trick you this oh, time, I, I was think, nice. Oh. Injured life goes on for me. Mm, and on, and on, <sighs> and on. <laughs> Long story short, they're waiting until my leg can come up with enough clean pink skin to put a graft on. In the meantime, I have a chic man bag, which keeps pressure on the wound to carry around all the friggin' time. Mm. And you're just loving it. Upside and is. It, also, it's not just a quiet little man bag. It's noisy as fuck. And it's all it's on all the time, night yeah. and day. Yeah. Upside is I can play WoW. Downside is I have to keep my leg elevated as much as possible. Yes. That is a bit of a downside. Uh, downside because you can't sit next to me normally. You only come around to I record. I come around to record. <laughs> Uh, I have been to work once since last week. <laughs> Monday was our conference. Friday, I took leave for the, the early launch and uh, I also, also took leave today. Um, so then Wednesday, I'm back at work and then Friday, not at work for another conference. Gotta <laughs> so, love a conference. Gotta love a conference. Um, However, the conference that we had on Monday was the Y Ballarat conference, uh, um, my employer, and I was poisoned with gluten, um, which I found out at about 5.30 that night. Not ideal. It was not ideal. I wasn't the only one. There were three people who attended it with um, post- with one of them being in the process of being diagnosed with celiac disease. She didn't eat the sandwiches. She ate her own food. She didn't get sick. The other two of us, sick. (laughs) Now, I can't think of anything, but we should probably just see if there's anything we need to discuss. I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The launch within. Oh, you spoiled it. I was going to go, nah, nah, nothing much. It's all standard week and wow. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, didn't even bother to log in. <laughs> so we're going to keep this spoiler free for those who didn't have early access. We won't discuss details that weren't public prior to launch, hmm. but we will vibe about it. We will vibe about uh, it. How smooth was the launch? It was one of the best I can remember. Mm. No crashes or lag. No hard resets. No. Not no. even to this day, no. like to, to today. In-game, no massive choke points in the early story. Only a couple of technical glitches getting disconnected from Blizzard services, which just meant Guild Chat was a bit patchy and getting logged out of game a few times. Only one time I can remember you had trouble getting back in otherwise. Mm. You got booted, you came straight back in. Yeah. Now obviously it's a soft launch because it's early access. Mm -hmm. So the really massive numbers will test the server. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 8 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to be up for that. Are you? Yep. Um, you're gonna, gonna start another new team to get with the vibe of the uh, launch. Oh, you can if you like. Would you like to? This time know. you could be ready for when it actually launches because yeah. it was a very smooth but soft launch. So in the past, what happens is the time clicks, ding, and suddenly you've got a quest. So that didn't happen. So what what happened for us was we were all standing. You, you suddenly have a an item in your quest log. I wouldn't even say it's a quest. It's just a direction saying, 
go to Deloraine. Go which, see this person. Yeah. So I've I've pre warned everyone saying start in Deloraine because we parked our tunes in Orgrimmar and I got on and I'm like, wait, we've got to be in Deloraine. So and in case they do it again, be ready about five minutes early. Yes. So um, I was just standing there and, you know, there was hundreds of people in the room that we were all in and we are all excited, could feel it. And I was quite anxious because I was like, if it doesn't go well, it'll be bad for Blizzard. And I don't like it when people get narky. And so I was like feeling that full, anxious, excited thing. And then I kind of just, I don't even know why, I just spun my camera around and I went, wait. And there's a quest there. There's a quest here. He wasn't here before. And... Um, and so, yeah, so people had started moving. That's probably what made me turn. Um, someone had obviously noticed it and um, about five minutes prior to launch. So there was a few people in the guild that who were all on at the same time. Of course, we couldn't chat because guild, guild chat was intermittent. But mm. we were all sort of just in the moment. And, um, and they all said the same thing. A couple went to get coffee and thought, oh, I've got five minutes. I'll make a quick cuppa. Came back. And they're like, where's everyone gone? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's happened? Um, um, yeah, so that was, but it was really smooth. The opening event as an introduction to the story and content. Loved Spoiler free. It. Loved uh, it. The story was compelling, exciting, mm. very wow. Mm. It felt like stakes in danger. Yep. It didn't go for too long, so you'd be able to play it again and again, I reckon. And it did the thing that I think they did so well in Lich King where <clears> you <throat> felt like We've got to move, we've got to move. Well, not just you've got to move, but also the boss feels real and connected. Um, so without any spoilers, it just felt like there was a tangible presence as yeah. opposed to others where you're like, I don't even know who the boss was. You well, know? a lot of launches we start with, we don't know who the real threat is. And possibly that's true even now, um, but our perceived threat but um, there is a but, threat there. It's not yeah. something weird's happening and we must investigate. No, that's right. Um, and yes, but that was it was real and it was tangible and it was, you know, you could feel you could feel it. And the event set up the campaign really well, which was good. Hmm. I, I, I totally agree. It was um, great. Um Dornigal is a hub city. I don't love hub cities that aren't Dalaran as a rule. It, do you know why Dalaran was so successful? It's small. It's, it's compact. It's compact. But so you everything you need spaced, isn't there. So. Small space to navigate. Yeah. Uh, my ADHD goes crazy and gets confused by all the different things around. <laughs> and trying to remember where everything is. Yes. And, and when I got a load of the Druid um, oh my God. in Legion, the Druid camp. Oh, my God. It was so big. <laughs> Uh, I tend to, just, when that happens, I tend to just hang around the area I can cope with and just not go to the other parts. I don't love that the city's split in two by a big hill. Yes, that I have been confused by that. I'm like, oh, this is where I go. And then I'm like, amazing. this isn't right. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does look amazing. And it is. it does have that real dwarven magnificence about it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I did like that. I, and I think... Um, they can get away with it being so big um, because it is so, you know, it's like, I don't know, it feels like it's about 10 times the size of, say, Iron Forge. Like it's huge um, and sprawly, but I think they can get away with that because we can fly and it's yeah. fast. Yeah. So you can just jump on your mat and zoom to the other side. Yeah. Um, they cert I certainly couldn't get away with that if you were riding around on a mount, I don't think. On a ground map, or had to run. We're still. <laughs> yep, yeah, our feeling of the zones, the Isle of Dawn, aka remember vanilla. <laughs> yes. It's the familiar, pretty comfort zone. Yes. It's the Nagrand, the Valley of the Four Winds, Arathi Highlands. It's green. It's hilly. Yes. It's got a lot of variety. Yeah. No it, snow. No snow. It is no right. massive peaks. No snow anywhere. No. Actually. Interesting. That's but there was no snow, snow in snow. Shadowland, was there? Mm, someone will have to let us know. I can't mm. remember. Um, this It's very pretty and I enjoyed our time questing here. It's a, It doesn't look like a huge zone on the map, but there's so much in it. We've, yeah. We've really probably spent, you know... A day, a full day between two two alts in there, yeah. um, and we're not quite finished. So, um, yeah, beautiful, huge, um, 
It was really an enjoyable place to quest. Yep. Second yeah. zone, the Ringing Deeps, also known as You Love Underground, right? <laughs> I liked it. I liked it, and I liked its contrast to the Isle of Dawn. Um, the only thing I will say, and, and this is me being particularly bad at um, dragon riding, is I do get frustrated when you can't get from A to B without navigating around or over a huge mountain range or cavern. Um, and I got, at one point got completely lost and couldn't find my way out um, of this blue sparkly place. Um, and of course, once your dragon riding's run out of vigor. You can't do anything else because it's not it's big it's not designed for like running around no. it's not really an option um and you can't um and there aren't can't so much in those second third and fourth zones there aren't so much roads no so you can just go oh, i'll run along the road till i get some vigor back because it's There's sort of levels so it's that paths. you can there are paths yeah, but, but it, it's but very leveling yeah. and also there's mobs everywhere there yep. is mobs everywhere in the ringing deeps. It's not like it's not like in other zones in other times where yep. you could run along the path and as long as you watched out for the massive fell reaver that might come and hit you in the back of your head or the um, the massive dragon in Angoro, you could pretty much run along. And there. if you stick to the path and just don't stop, you usually are all right in those early Except for those two instances. Uh, I had a tiny bit of Zaralek Zal 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 Cavern PTSD <laughs> at first. But, you know, you get into the... It's a bit different and you get the steampunk vibe going. Mm. These massive pipes and machines everywhere. It's yeah. very machine-centric, so that's always cool and wow. The third zone, Hallowfall, a.k.a. the Vanilla Crusade. <laughs> um, think Scarlet Crusade without the zealotry, for now. <sighs> a very alliance-vibe zone, like all the buildings are very alliance-style. yes. Style. yes. And that's cool. Um, very pretty, very fun. There's lots of... Um, I feel like the, the devs had a lot of fun with the quests in there. Yeah. I think they had a lot of fun with the quests everywhere. Probably. Um, but yeah, just some... I just... I found, I found the whole thing been... It's been very good. And I like the, the cadence of it, as in we had a nice light zone, then we had a dark zone, then we had a light zone, finishing with a dark zone. Spoilers. Oh, I thought we had a light zone, then a darker zone, then a darker zone, then the darkest zone. No, because Hollow Falls not dark. Mm, Quest-wise, you might. There's a lot of spiders there. I'm talking about l as in light. Sorry, the child, light there's a lot of crabs there. I'm talking about just the aesthetics of light. Sure. Because you don't want to be in that doom for too long. Yes, and <laughs> um, Hollow Falls doesn't feel like it's inside. It's inside, but it doesn't feel like it. No. No, it's, it feels almost like you're back in the Isle of Dawn. It's, it's um, light and airy and huge. And just huge, yeah. Yeah. Um, Arj Kahet. Arj Kahet, a.k.a. Why Are These Crabs Spinning Webs? <laughs> uh, I found it menacing and dark. The yep. music's quite different to the other, other zones, um, but I totally loved it despite that. It's the got a real The Fun's Over vibe. <laughs> it you're does 80 have that. and this is and, where you're uh, going to be. This is where the serious shit's going to happen. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I, I totally agree with that. Really dark, really yep. menacing. All right, how was the flow of questing and how would you recommend approaching it? Um, well, I'm not going to recommend anyone approaches it anyway, but I will tell you what we've done. So, uh, Wem and I chose to do just the campaign quests and gathering as we levelled our first tune so that the story didn't get lost amongst... We did double gathering to maximise the XP we were getting as well as just the um, yep. main quests. Yes. Yep. Um, the pace was fast, as in the pace of the quests. You're they in a space. They don't keep you in one spot for too long. That's for sure. No. So if you if you're concentrating on just the campaign quest, like we did, you um, are constantly moving from one mm. spot to the other. If you do the other quest as well, you'll be lucky to get out of the Isle of Dawn by the time you're seventy six, seventy seven. Yeah. Um, but I, we really liked it. The, the Most of our guildies that have done quests, campaign and side quests only got through two and a bit zones yeah. to get to 80. Yeah, they barely but, got into hollow. Hollow, hollow. Yeah, I, I think our way is more fun. It was good. Because I you're liked... getting that, you're getting the intense story, the yes. main story, and you're just I like through. That's what I liked. I like that you got the story, like you're following the storyline all and, the way through. Yep. Sometimes you do so many quests and you get so distracted that by the time you get back you're like, Oh, yeah, what was happening there? Whereas this way, it was really, it, the story was really strong. Um, I also, um, <laughs> we did get a little distracted by um, some treasure quests that sent us on 
yeah some hunting um which we eventually just said enough Mm. <laughs> I've had enough. Let's go. We did spend a long time trying we to did. work stuff out. Yeah, we did. Um, and, that, but and that's possibly something you could do once you're eighty. Yes, I think. Yeah, I think you could go back. I did love though that you did maybe half a dozen quests, and then you'll move to the next space, and and the yep. quests led that, and they, you know, you basically got told where to go, or you know, you got offered a ride or whatever, and um, I really liked it. It was really really well thought out if you stick to the campaign it's not that thing where you go i'm handing in this quest oh and here's a follow-up and here's another quest for way over there that you'll get to eventually it was very not streamlined but it was one storyline that you could follow easily and it was the important the important stuff stayed in your mind and you just move through i would recommend yes doing that at least double gathering and and yeah campaign only and don't get hung up on the treasures if it's not obvious straight away what you need to do. No, just leave it. You can always come back to it. Yep. And then that'll take you to about, I reckon, 76, high 76, early 77. Yeah. When you finish that. And then you've unlocked adventuring. So you can just about, well, I, I don't know if we set it further down or not. But then you can do all the world quests, which is fun again. We didn't say it further down. Further down. We didn't say it. No, but it was it was good because that's how we finished off. So we we did um, we did. You some... probably got two options. You can do the campaign, and you can either do all the world quests, yes. and that will nearly get you to eighty. So we did. World... Or you can go back and start doing side quests. So we did world quests, and then we did for the four dungeons that were available to oh, us. Oh, I do talk about a bit, a little um, bit about and, that and further down. that's how we hit eighty, and it was it was really fun. We did world quests and. Um, Bonus objectives. We finished yep. those off. Yep, yeah. Yep. Hmm. All right. I'm going to play the news intro, but we're not really going to have news. We'll talk about our socials and what people have said and then keep right. moving through what we've been doing. Sure. The one bit of news that I did get but didn't bother even writing down, I was so angry is that the devs have said they're not going to do cross-faction queuing because if you love your faction, you don't want to get in a group with all people from the other faction. Mate, I want to do time walking. I want fast queues. I want the biggest amount of people to play with as possible. And I don't give a stuff what faction they're from. But maybe, Just let us choose. But maybe you're an oddity. So I want to opt into that. Yes, it would and be good if, if no you no could... one else opts into that, then my pool will be all Horde and the three other people that are like me. <laughs> yes. And I'll live with that. Yes. But give me the chance. Yes. I think it should be something that we could opt into, surely. Absolutely. Surely we could opt into it. We can opt into war mode. Surely we could, opt, if we're not in war mode, surely we could opt All you're opt saying out is, here's your queue. You're going to queue with people from your faction. Hey, do you want to queue with people from the other faction who also don't care? Yeah. Cool. We'll add them in. Could be a That's button. All it Could is. be an extra button. I don't know how hard that is to do. It's probably really hard to do. Well, I don't care. I'm giving you cash. Anyway. Take my cash and do what I ask. If you could find the time to like and subscribe on YouTube, that would be really helping us out. Like, subscribe, and comment. We love a comment. Mm. We love uh, feedback. Give us a provisional thumbs up right now. Don't make it provisional. Just do it. While I'm reading, and I'll remind you later to remove it if we haven't delivered quality content, I probably won't do that. Just like it. Just like it. Um, you can follow us on YouTube at Buy Not Quick Wow, where you found this amazing video. Where you're looking um, at it. You can follow, find us on Instagram at Buy Not Quick Wow, and you can find us on Facebook at Buy Not Quick Wow. Wow, just skipping right over that now, huh? Yep. All right. See you on next Tuesday. <laughs> no time uh, for that crap anymore. All right. Um, where's my comments? Down further. Keep going. You put them oh, in. What I are you working on in game? Bit. Which has caused me to also do that. All right, you start reading and I'll move that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, so, some feedback from Snowy. Siri thinks it's so serious that you have to like and subscribe. She was prepared to call emergency services. I'd forgotten that happened. <laughs> to get them around to show you which buttons to click. Indeed, it's so serious. Like and subscribe now. Uh, the balloons are part of a continuity camera on the Mac. So, apparently doing this... Um, well, cause it doesn't do it to mine. 
because oh, I'm not recording not... your camera, oh, yeah, Goose. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus, you're not using your Mac camera. Ah, uh, that'll be why. Uh, Keep going. Snowy does it all the time in yeah. Teams calls. One hand is V is balloons. Two hands V is confetti. Thumbs up and down trigger event. Thumbs up and down trigger events. Double thumbs up is fireworks. Oh, do double thumbs up. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> double thumbs down is rain. Oh. oh. <laughs> and double rock horns. What is double? Oh, okay. Is a laser light show. I missed it. best ever good reminder on the bronze didn't have much on my single remix tune but did snag a couple of transmogs rather than letting it go to waste conti i totally saw them <laughs> thank you <laughs> he thought he was going not so uh andy yes i saw those balloons princess thank oh, you oh my god the balloons uh, and then she carries and on then she says to, goes on to say we're interrupting temp clearly we need to practice catching your stories more no because that does nothing <laughs> Which is catching a story and holding it for later. It's because you undid your. It's because you undid them. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, plenty of time now. You're home. Oh my God! Yes, he does need to practice catching his stories and not interrupting me. Very proud of you. She's very proud of you for I, watching. I think people enjoy when I interrupt you. They might, mm. but you're not married to them. Very proud of you for yeah, watching. Which are only one like. Do you subscribe? I have. Okay. But I can unsubscribe. <laughs> Princess is very proud of you for watching them do your leg, but did you mm. watch them inject a local straight into the base of your finger? No. On Facebook, Conti replied to me asking if we would see people in early launch that he was on his way home. En route. We, be we beat him in game, but not by much. We also asked the question, what are you doing in the lead up to launch as in the last few nights? I cleaned out my bags, banks, quest logs etc. Conti added purging unwanted alts, which I really liked. I think Barack purged unwanted alts too. He said he only kept 70s. <gasps> oh, it could have been about 150 tunes. Could have been. On threads, Alicia thanked us for our public service um, announcement reminder to send to spend all the bronze on your pandemonium tunes and she also managed to solo all of the raids, almost, to earn her neck piece but had to group up to get it finished. Well done, Alicia. Well, um, Alicia has Alicia. also been spotted in pants on head over the last couple of weeks. Nice Akimbo. to see you there. Uh, I wonder if that's one of her two. Legs of Kimbo. Hmm. What, are you, legs. what are you working on in game, babe? Let's check it out. Vibe check of the expansion mm. this is the new topic that I've come up with. Yeah, yeah. The Vibe check of the, of the expansion pre-big launch. Yes. <laughs> expansion has been received really well so far. Smooth launch. Zalatath is very popular. There seems to be loads to do. Even Sourpuss content creators, no names, Sucks. are happy for now. Because we know what drives clicks. So when it turns, I'll be ready to call them out. I won't call them out. But I'll say there's some zooking. Wem has stopped showing me the sooks. The sooks. <laughs> yes. I was so excited for the early launch, but I was also stressing out for the devs in case it didn't go well. Thankfully, it went very well. Um, today, Wem and I watched an interview with Ian Hazacostas. By Mr. GM. Good interview. I didn't know who it was. And it was 19 hours after early launch had launched. And it's safe to say he looked like he had not slept. No, he looked oh very God. tired. So uh, just a big thank you to Ian and the team who probably hadn't slept and probably didn't sleep for the first 24 hours after launch. He did an amazing job. Yeah. So leveling and weeklies. Mm -hmm. Loving it all, if I'm honest. When and I even started alts, uh, we chose adventure mode for our alts, um, which means that basically we've turned off the campaign and we are not doing any campaign quests at all. So... Um, we set out in a direction in the Isle of Dawn and just started doing quests. And we basically um, cleaned up almost all of it. I think we've got one, maybe two bits to go. Yeah. Um, but it's been, the quests have been so engaging and so fun that even me, who hates questing, has really enjoyed it. Um, 
and we're almost 74 and we haven't left the Isle of Dawn. Yeah. Um, the, the, the quests are really fun. Um, some of them are really funny. We found a place that resulted in my first two deaths and looking back, it's really funny and had the murloc feels like you're just strolling along and then suddenly you're dead, um, like literally. <laughs> it was not funny at the time, but it is funny hearing others having the same experience. Absolutely. Yes, we did do a load of weeklies and finished out the last three levels. They seem pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, the week, the dailies and, or weeklies, whatever they are. I, they were, Yeah, the world quests were so fun. So fun. They were all so different. We spent ages on them. It was really good fun. Yep. Delves, I think we've done about five. We've done five. So we haven't done them all. No. Uh, they Gosh, seem no. like heaps of fun. I think we've done three in um, the Isle of Dawn. We really need, yeah. to start, need to start exploring other zones. Yeah, we well, did the first one compulsory. The second mm. one we said, oh, here's another one. Let's do another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we kind of saved it. But, um, yeah, uh, heaps of fun for the two of us. Mm. A good way for us to do content if there's not enough for a group and you don't feel like um, hanging out with randos. Yeah. I think they'll be even more fun for three or even four or five. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait. We've also repeated one. And it had the same vibe, but a very different layout, which was really clever. So just a bit like, um, oh, what was that place in Legion? The tower where you would go in on different... Torghast. Yes, Torghast. So yeah. very much like Torghast in that you could go out and go back in, like and restart it for whatever reason, like if you didn't get to finish it or whatever, and it would be a completely different layout. Um, but the same vibe and the same mechanics to sort of work through. So I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed them so far. Uh, dungeons, obviously, Mythics aren't open yet, but normal dungeons. We've done the first four because we had a couple of people in our group that weren't 80 yet, so you can only do the first four. Well, there was three. There was three of us that weren't 80. PD and Nom were 80, and the three of us weren't. Was Were we 80? Yeah, no. I thought we were. No, we did that. Okay. We did that just before. I thought it leveled. was just Conti and Kai. No. Okay. No. Cool. Um... Yeah, so we've done the oh, first four. Was Nom not there? They Maybe seem... it was Conti. Anyway, well, then it was only PD that no, was No, it wasn't 80. Conti, it was Nom. Yeah. It was Nom. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, we haven't done the flying all over the place one. That's one of the max level ones. And we haven't done the can't see anything one, which I feel may, those two might end up being contentious. We'll see how it goes. Probably with me. So I can't fucking fly everywhere. I can't do it. Right. Well... And also, I hate I hate that dungeon in in um, that one we did where you had to keep finding candles. There's a dungeon like that. I don't mind the candles as long as it's actually possible to do. I and the same, but I hate that one in the last boss in that in that dungeon where you've got you've got to have one person's got to have the light and you can only see things in the light. You can only oh kill yeah, the, the one in Legion. Ugh. Yes. Yes. That gives me the absolute shit. So. I, don't, I can't sure. imagine liking this one, but anyway, some bloody dev wants to torture us, okay. Gearing for your main. I have no idea where my gear is at. I'm looking forward to spending time, though, doing dailies and earning rep and getting gear and stuff. I, that's, Absolutely. That's part of the fun for me. It was funny. It was all sell for gold because we... We weren't on our raid turn, so no, they we weren't. weren't crazily... No, no, but we'd they, done, we had done all of the... 480s and yeah, we'd, we'd done all the 480s and we'd leveled up some yeah. of those and we'd got a, we'd done a couple of um like world quests and stuff and had some 493s and a couple I of 502s. I reckon we entered the expansion about 505 ish. I was 503, I think. Anyway, midway through about level 75, all of a sudden everything was an upgrade. <laughs> and that's when I love new expansions when you're just going. Better, better, yeah. Ooh, better. Look at that. Oh, look Just at that. throwing it all on. Yeah. So sitting in the 530s somewhere at the moment, we've only, we've really only I literally dinged only 80, done a bit more, done a few dungeons. Starting out. We haven't actually been back on And then we got since. onto our ops because yeah. we wanted to get ahead of all the people. But yeah, I think tomorrow might be fun to start mm. new turns and do the, redo the campaign and Sounds See what good. it's like with everyone there. And if it's crap, we'll just switch back to our <laughs> other turns. Uh, alt activity, speaking of which, um, started on my shaman as my second tune. Going the adventure mode route, as we said, doing all the side quests. We skipped 
on the first playthrough. So that's the other bonus of doing the campaign to start with is now we're doing all the side quests and it feels like a whole nother expansion. Mm. Because Absolutely. even though we know the areas, we're doing stories and yeah, and yeah. adventures that we didn't do the first time. So that's Absolutely. fun. We haven't repeated a single quest. Um, and we're 74. And you don't have to start in the same place. So our next alts might start at a different space. So Yeah, the only thing is you can't turn the campaign back on. So Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, I'm just thinking it'd be nice if you did side quests, then campaign for hmm. different sections. No. But I like matter. the idea of, uh, you know, doing two zones and being 80 and then... Going, okay, well, now I'm going to do, next time, I'm going to do those other two zones. So, you know, you, by I the think, time you've leveled... Are there leveled, quests that lead on to the next zone? No, not with adventure mode. You, you probably can just, could go, oh, yeah, adventure you mode, You just yeah. choose it and they go, yeah, that's true. fly to here. Yeah. Yeah. You just choose it on the map. So, anyway. I'm probably only going so to run nice. through questing on maybe three tunes and the rest I'll probably do in Time Walkers. Yeah, sure. I, I'm going to, oh, excuse me. I'm going to level, I've got to, so I've read today, I never read things, so I don't know why it came up, but I suddenly read, and for all of you who might have tailors, that ta tailors are the only people that will get cloth drops off humanoids. Yep. So you get other cloth, but not, not your, not the normal cloth. So my next... <laughs> My next turn, suddenly, it's become a little bit more important to get my um, priest out there and mm. getting the cloth drops. So. Absolutely. And she'll have to, she won't be able to double gather because she'll be busy getting the tailoring. Streaming shenanigans. We streamed the first hour of launch, but it was too exciting to be entertaining and not our greatest effort, I think. So. And then I had to leave suddenly because I got a phone call, so it was all a bit of a disaster. But, um, yeah. yes, sorry, we might try again. Wouldn't mind doing some dungeons or something. Maybe if we do the campaign quest, we can do what I suggested and that we stream the, the start of each new zone. Sure. Hmm. League player of the week. So this is not um, this is not something dumb, awesome or amazing. It's just something that was hilarious. Um, I'm going to nominate Medi for a, ch a guild chat quote. Oh, that was harder to say than I was expecting. That I logged into... Quote. That I logged into this afternoon. Um, I think Medi's on the home stretch to 80. Um, he probably is 80 by now. And I've removed the type of mob to avoid spoilers because I don't want anyone else to miss out on the glory and the fun. But uh, this is so really far, just about everyone in the guild has been killed by the same group. <laughs> yeah, it's the same yeah. kind of mob. Yeah. Uh, Medi said, I'm going to get to 80, I'm going to level up my gear, and then I'm going to come back here and kill every freaking mob in this place. <laughs> just like... I call that Stitches Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> we just go back to, to Dustwood and smash the crap out of Stitches. Yeah. Yeah, a big stitches, so stitches is bad because he frightens you. Yes. Like, if you don't know it's coming, it's a fright. And he's running up the road and here he comes. I still off. felt glee killing Stitches in the bloody pre-expansion. Stitches, <laughs> Fel Reaver, Fel Reaver. Devil Saws. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely went back and killed the Fel Reaver. And we went back and killed the Devil Saws. Man, they were bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway. Oh, I just, it just, it's the same mob that was responsible for my first two deaths, but... It made me giggle so hard, and it was funny because when I when it happened, I was like, "Oh God, I just died!" And then a little while later, <laughs> someone else had the same experience, and it's just been really funny. Absolutely. All right, words of wisdom to leave with: just remember that most things that are annoying during launch will either be fixed or will mean nothing in the overall tale of an expansion. So chillax and enjoy the ride. Mm, enjoy. Uh, and I just want to say it's worldwide launch tomorrow at 3 p.m. PDT or 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And my advice, make your way to Dalaran tonight if you can or log in a little early. And I can't believe we've waited till the 35 minute mark to say hello to Theo. <gasps> hey, buddy. Hello, Bubba. Theo. We're going to see you tomorrow. Poor well, Theo. not when he says this. He has the pox. He's got the pox. This poor kid. He's nine, nine months, months old. old and he's had he's COVID. Had he's had 
um, RSV, and now he's got the pox, which is ridiculous. What do you give the kid who's got it all? Chicken pox. <laughs> so, luckily, it's not been but too bad. But he got it very mild. Very so mild. He's a, um, breast and he's milk a little champ. He still protecting. kept smiling all the way through. He did, even though he was really miserable last weekend. But um, luckily, Kerry's breast milk has protected him from getting it too bad, and all of her immunity has gone through to him and stopped him from getting too sick. So Now, yeah, a crisp... A- 36 minute up. Oh, snack size. Princess won't be happy. I don't know about snack size. <laughs> We've come to the end of another episode of Bond on Equip. Now is the time to unlike if you've changed your mind, but all the How info we've given you, the I opinion, know. the know. quality, yeah. the gold. Absolute. <laughs> Otherwise, smash the like if you haven't. There'll Thanks. be spoilers in next week's episode. It Absolutely, won't be spoilers. There will. <laughs> Thanks very much for hanging out with us. Until next time, I am Wembley. I'm Tempest. See you later. See ya.